Our next caller is Alex from Reno. Hey, what's up, Alex? How can we help you? Hey, guys. Yeah, I, had, I was reaching out. I had a question regarding some uh, programming. Um, so a little background. A few years ago, I got really into uh, backcountry hunting. Uh, um, and, uh, yeah, something that just really became a passion of mine. But I've kind of had a hard time uh, programming my training to get me in the best shape possible for that. And, uh, you know, I, I was a college athlete and uh, I have some experience with training for performance, you know, especially explosive performance. I was a pitcher uh, so that, you know, a lot of the stuff we're doing there is really quick, fast twitch muscle movements. Um, so I have a good understanding of how to train for that. But something I've struggled with over the years that I've realized is, you know, when you're on these long days hiking through the mountains with anywhere from 20 to, you know, a hundred pounds in your pack. Mm -hmm. I find myself burning out really fast within the first couple of hours. You know, I feel great first thing in the morning. Uh, but you know, by like late morning, you know, after a couple miles in, man, I find my body is just kind of beaten down and I've had a hard time, you know, getting to a point where I have that kind of all day performance, all day endurance. And so I was curious, you know, what you guys think would be the best way for me to go about programming uh, you know, my training, I do a lot of strength training. I really enjoy that. I got that from training for sports in college. Um, and, you know, I try to work in some cardio where I can. Uh, but yeah, how would you guys suggest balancing out some strength training as well as the cardio, you know, to give me the best shape possible come hunting season? Start building up your work capacity. Yeah. I, yeah. I would say you're, you're always your best bet is to train. The, the best way you could train for specific activities to do more of that activity so, okay. so like if you want to get good at hiking with weight on your back, mm -hmm. I would incorporate more of those into your workouts. Like once a week, uh, do a long hike with a pack filled yeah. with enough weight to simulate what it would One be. Of those weighted vests or something. Yeah, because it's it's there's a lot of skill involved, right? So you can be strong with For weight. Sure. You go, you can do squats, you can do all these exercises, which are great. They give you general strength. But there's a lot of skill involved with specific activities, including the one that you're talking about. Now, as far as workout programs are concerned, the two programs that we have that would probably benefit you the most would be like MAPS OCR or MAPS uh, Strong. Um, I'm also okay. gonna, I'm also going to recommend um, some supplements to you to help you out a little bit. So, if you utilize caffeine, uh, what I would recommend what I would recommend doing is about a month before you do a big uh, hunt is I would yeah. we I would wean yourself off caffeine completely, and that 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 way you can use it for when you're out in, in doing your thing. So you're very sensitive to it. And then what you could do is you could have a small dose in the morning, and you could have a couple more doses throughout the day. And you, it's like magic when your body's sensitized to caffeine. It is actually a very powerful drug. And then the second supplement I'll, I'll recommend is cordyceps. Cordyceps okay. are phenomenal for stamina and endurance, especially mm -hmm. if you're cold or hot. It's like it's one of the best supplements for doing that. But in, in terms of increasing your work capacity, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna simulate what you're doing at least one day a week yeah. to really maintain okay. that skill uh, uh, for what you're doing. Yeah, I would echo that, but honestly, I'd steer you a little bit more towards uh, strong because that was one of the main programs where we were focused on work capacity. Is is like mm -hmm. we're adding that in as more volume um, in between, and, and a lot of ways to do that with farmer carries, lots of carries with weight, just getting you um, you know the the time and experience with having and holding weights and, and building up that muscle endurance and that grip endurance. Um, you know, OCR, OCR is great, but I think, you, you know, in terms of cardio, you want it to be as specific as possible. So like Sal said, with like yeah. something like a rucksack or, you know, like a weighted vest would be great, but also just carrying things constantly in between uh, your foundational days, uh, I think would have a lot of benefit for you. I'll, I'll be even, even more specific. So uh, if you were a client of mine, uh, you would absolutely, I'd, I'd have you run Map Strong. I, on those uh, on that program, you have two days where you have these work sessions. One of them, I'd, I'd have you run exactly how it is in the programming. The second one would be I would ask you to go outside and do exactly this. But I'd be even more specific there. So you know when you have these days where you go out and you go hunt, 
I don't know what the the bouts look like. Do you normally hike for about an hour and a half straight, 30 minutes straight, whatever that is, I'm going to try and emulate that in your training and during the week. I'm going to sure. say, okay, you're going to go for this uphill hike, get a backpack that weighs 80 pounds on your back, go hard for 30 minutes, hour, whatever bouts that you do and do that a couple times for the day. And that training, I'm doing that at least once per week in your training. And then you have what's programmed already for you and map strong. Uh, that I think is, is perfect for what you're trying to do. Yeah, that makes sense. Cause I, yeah, a lot of it is, yeah, you're busting your butt up a hill or walking a ridge for yeah an hour or two. And then you're sitting down, right. you know, glassing, using your binos for a couple hours and you get up and hike some more. So yeah, it's definitely a lot of start and stop there, but there are, yeah, definitely, you know, an hour or two of some really intense work and, there. And of course there's going to be some days where I totally understand that uh, you just, it, it's not feasible to get outside and go do that. This is where it actually mm -hmm. makes sense for the guy in the gym who's wearing that vest, walking on the incline up. You know, I, you see this all the time, and I always laugh yeah. because it's always oh, somebody, yeah. <laughs> somebody who's doing it to lose weight or to build muscle, but you are the guy that actually should be doing this. You are the guy that you are trying to, to emulate exactly the way you would be training out there or going out there hunting and stuff. So it makes a lot of sense because you want to get adapted to that. You want to get good mm -hmm. at that. You're not doing it because you want to lose a bunch of weight. You're not doing because you want to build a bunch of muscle. You want to get good at putting a back, back backpack that's 80 pounds on your back and either going up a flight of stairs or going up an incline on a treadmill. So it makes sense for you to be that guy who's in the gym if you can't get outside and go do it. For sure. All right. Well, thanks for calling, Alex. And we're going to send you Maps Strong for free, so you'll get Boom. access to that. Awesome. I appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for calling. Yeah, it's uh, um, I can't I can't stress this enough. Like, if you want to get good at a specific skill, the priority in your training, not the only thing you should do, uh, because you d you definitely should do cross training and other things to prevent things like injury and, right. and to augment your performance. But the pri the priority should be that thing. Yeah. That you do. You want to get good at football? You're supplementing everything else around that thing yes. that you're trying to get good at. Yeah, there is, you know, the, there is a thing though you have to understand a little bit with this. Right? So this guy is not he's not doing this professionally. It's not I mean, it is a sport in a sense, right? So that like that yeah. that the, the sport specificity does apply what you're saying. But I also don't think he's trying to go out and go do three hikes a week out to emulate his hunting season there where he goes for two or three months. He wants to probably live a normal life, train in the gym most yeah, of the maybe time. Maybe like two or three, like a couple months before, eight weeks, right? right you right. start to prepare by doing the specifics. Yeah, stuff. but I, I mean, there's definitely like a program like Strong that I think is going to have tremendous carryover. You're totally. right. Yeah. Uh, like, okay, so if I had to compare the guy who uh, three months of going out and hiking three or four times a week and with the backpack versus a guy who trains map strong, the guy with the backpack is actually still going to do better at doing that yeah. because it's very, very specific. But the reality of that, who's going to go really go do that when it's not like your... Well, and I think too, like a, a lot of times people have the idea that if it's something that it requires endurance, like immediately they're going to go run or they're going to go, you know, walk like, like crazy miles instead of like loading their body with weight and, and making them actually like hold on to things and in, in their grip, uh, you, you know, like building up like that, that kind of muscle endurance is a totally different and objective. It's just, it's just, it's just a specific skill. Like right. you could be great fitness never hike for 20 miles with 80 pounds on your back, put 80 pounds on your back. And all of a sudden it's like, why are my traps on fire? Right. Oh my gosh, it's hurting the skin over here. My knees hurting because you don't have that skill. You never yeah. do you it. Get adapted. That's to right. It. Well, that's why I love pointing out too. Cause I mean, we've, I know we've made fun of the guy like that in the gym, right? <laughs> so, yeah. he, but here is the guy who does makes it, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. It makes this is not like you see people do this a lot, right? They throw the weight vests on, they work out because they they, they want to burn more calories, thinking they're gonna get leaner by doing this, or they, they're gonna build more muscle by having this on there. It's like, no, that's a silly reason to do this. But if you want to get good at training with 80 pounds on your back, that makes a lot Dude, of sense. I can't right. even make fun of the guy with the altitude mask anymore. Right. It pisses me off. <laughs>